This tutorial will show you how to sideload Android apps onto your Amazon Fire TV. The first step is to enable ADB debugging. So go to settings, to system, and go down to developer options and enable ADB debugging. Now press back. Now we're going to get the IP address. Go to about, to network, and write down the IP address. In this example it's 192.168.1.16. You're going to need this number for later. All right, so now we're gonna jump over to our computer and go to siloedfiretv.com and we're gonna click on the Mac tutorial. And scroll down where they did all these steps. Get to set up ADB on the Mac and click on uh, this link to download platform tools and just save that onto your desktop. I already downloaded it earlier. I have it right here. It's a zip file, so you're going to have to unzip it. Just double click on it. And now we have the platform tools on our desktop. Alright, the next step is to open terminal. So just click on launch pad, go to other, and click on terminal. Alright, now we're going to copy in, copy this script. I copied it and I pasted it into terminal. So we're going to use the directional keys because you can't um, click into terminal. So we're just going to click left all the way to your username. We're going to remove that line and you're going to enter your username for your Mac. I'm going to enter mine, the Sam Wong, and just hit enter. All right. Now we're going to connect to the Fire TV. Just copy this script, paste that in, and delete IP address, and actually type in the Fire TV's IP address that we obtained earlier. So mine is 192.168.1.16, and hit enter. And just give it a second, and now we're connected to our Fire TV. So at this point, you should have already downloaded um, the APK file. I downloaded mine to my desktop, and I have a Super Nintendo emulator here that I'm going to install. And you can find APK files all over the web. Um, there's some on sideloadfiretv.com. So let's go ahead and install it. So I'm going to copy in this script, copy it, paste it, and we're gonna have to use a directional key and delete your username enter yours and I'll enter mine okay we're also gonna have to delete the file name and enter in the APK file uh, name so I have to SNES NX I mean 9x dot APK so capital S N E S nine X and that's that file name right here now we're gonna hit enter and this step may take a little longer depending on the file size um, the emulator is only two megabytes so this shouldn't take that long but if you're installing XBMC uh, that file is 50 megabytes so it actually take a, a lot longer maybe about five minutes all right, so there you see it. Uh, the app is successfully installed, and to access the app, uh, the app just go to settings and applications on the Fire TV. Thank you.